In this video, I'm going to describe the different lung volumes and capacities that you're going to measure uh, within this respiratory physiology laboratory. Um, so using the spirometry device, um, there are a number of lung volumes and capacities which we can uh, measure and analyze and record. Um, so <clears throat> we're going to use the spirometry device to do the recording and then afterwards we'll use the lab chart software um, to do the measurement of the actual lung volumes. So what you'll be tasked to do with is take maybe a minute's worth of normal breathing. And this represents here our tidal volume. So the tidal volume is um, represented from the bottom to the top of a normal breath. Okay, And this change in volume here would be your tidal volume breath to breath. This is usually in the range of about 0.5 to sometimes as high as 1.5 liters uh, per breath, uh, depending on the individual. Um, and depending on their level of resting state. At rest, it's generally between 0.5 and 1 litre. Okay, the next um, thing you'll be asked task you'll be asked to do, as demonstrated in the, in the other videos, is to uh, take one full breath in, <sighs> and then breathe right out. Okay, and that looks like this in terms of the trace. So we'll have a tidal volume here. We get to the top of a normal breath, breathe right in, um, and then we'll breathe right out again. Um, and we'll have this, this will give us this particular wave. So from this, if we calculate from the top of a normal uh, tidal volume breath, all the way to the top in terms of inspiration here, we will get our inspiratory reserve volume. So this is the volume of air that we have in reserve that we can inspire, okay? so from top of a normal breath, that extra amount that we can inspire uh, at any given time beyond our normal tidal volume. So we calculate that as um, this minus this here, and that will give you our inspiratory reserve volume. Similarly, as we breathe normally, we have some um, air remaining within the lungs. So if I get to the bottom of a normal breath, I can still blow further. So blow, 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 blow. Okay, and that represents, um, if we take from the bottom of a tidal volume to here, that represents our expiratory reserve volume. So if we calculate from these two. So you'll be able to use your spirometry data to calculate your expiratory reserve volume. So first we'll calculate our tidal volume, then our inspiratory reserve volume, and then our expiratory reserve volume. Okay, and once we have these measures, we can measure other aspects. So um, in the next video, I'll show you equations we can use to calculate vital capacity. But effectively, if we look at that, um, that includes our tidal, vo our tidal volume, our inspiratory capacity, and our expiratory reserve volume. Or, sorry, our tidal volume plus inspiratory reserve volume plus expiratory reserve volume. And that's our vital capacity. Basically, everything we can breathe in and breathe out. In the next vid video, I'll also show equations for the estimation of residual volume because this is not something um, we can measure um, by uh, spirometry. But we can use a predicted equation to measure residual or to predict residual volume. And we can use this then to uh, calculate functional residual capacity because this equals residual volume plus the expiratory reserve volume. And then from these, we can calculate total lung capacity, which effectively includes your vital capacity, which you'll have already calculated, plus your residual volume. So the equations for these will be provided in the next video.